Hi guys, I'm Savas V Squish and welcome to my first ever video. So, um, since I'm new, new on YouTube, I decided that I'm just going to do a simple slime review and see how this goes. And you guys, obviously I've never seen this before because it's my first video and yeah. So this one I literally made yesterday. It's uh, it's supposed to be a cloud slime, but I feel like it came out a little more as a cloud cream because it doesn't drizzle as well. Uh, but I definitely didn't make it like a cloud cream. It is a little sticky, but I don't really mind because I have pretty good slime hands, and if I play with it pretty quick, it doesn't really stick. It's really sizzly and nice to poke and really nice to feel. This one, I scented it with a uh, pink grapefruit scent and a frozen lemonade scent just to kind of throw you off, kind of, because when you smell it, you don't really think of, like, this, which I feel like looks like a blue raspberry slushy, and so when you smell it, it doesn't smell like that much at all. Of course, I don't have a lot of scents, so I had to work with what I got, and this was good enough. The scent was good enough. And I really just liked this color. I used like this. This was the food coloring that I used. It's kind of like a gel, but yeah. The next one I have is a little stiff, it's a clay slime, but um, it's really nice. My friend Unicorn Puff made it for me, well not for me, we were doing this market and we were going to sell it but then it didn't get sold so I got to keep it and uh, it was supposed to be based off a of brownie and she made it an iceberg slime too. And I made it do the iceberg effect many times and so that that's what made it stiff before it was like really nice but now it's kind of just you know um, and it's leaving foam beads all over my table next up is a sand slime I made myself I just added some uh, fake uh, colored sand and some food coloring into a white glue slime um, yeah, and I scented this one with hand sanitizer, and this was, this was before I had the scent, so I scented it with hand sanitizer, and then I scented it with a real scent, and I think I used a lollipop lollipop, but, um, yeah, it smells really good. And if you play with it long enough, it'll inflate like a lot, and it's really fun when it's inflated. Um, but yeah. As you can see, it already inflated a little, but we're going to move on to the next one. It is kind of a bad color, but I can explain. So, this is a regular white glue slime that was split into nine. Oh, it's a little tough. 
Uh, it was split into nine different parts, and each part was colored a different color of all of my food colorings. And these are all my food colorings. And uh, when you swirled them, they looked really pretty, but then, of course, in the end, they always just make a bad color. I mean, I don't hate it. I kind of like black and gray slime because you don't get it too often. But, you know, it is really glossy when it, like, when you first take it out, but when you, after you play with it for a while, it becomes not as glossy. You could also consider this as a little bit of a putty, and yeah, it's really small, so. just like points like a little dog because I was like mm. so this one was um so uh unicorn puff and I um she uh she came over to my house and uh we do this thing where we make one slime we split it into two halves and each person gets to add one Ever they want to their half of the slime then you combine them and you do it you keep doing it with the same slime and then it ends up really weird and this one was only one round she made hers a jiggly slime I made mine a uh, a clay slime actually and as you can see it has more of the jiggly aspects and not really the clay aspects but or did I say clay slime? It's a butter slime. Um, but yeah, it as you can see, it's kind of sticking to me. I don't really mind, but yeah. And they like to stick to my nail polish. And I'm probably gonna take the nail polish off in another video. I've been making this polish mountain for like this polish mountain for like 25 days, and it has 25 different colors. Um, because my advent calendar this year for, uh, yeah, it was, like, um, nail polish, and so I just made a polish mountain just on my thumbs, and they're, like, kind of starting to peel up. Oh, there's slime on it, allergies. But, yeah. Now I am going to move on to a sign that I made at my friend's house, and she actually has her own YouTube channel, and I think it's called Squishy and Slime Fun. I'm not sure, but you should go check that out if if that's it. I don't know, but um, uh, so at her birthday party, um, uh, it was a slime birthday party, and we got to make our own slime, and then there was a judge, and yeah, I made mine kind of like a gal, like what you would see when you go into outer space, except all of the stuff I added aren't really shining through. See, I added all kinds of glitters and stuff, but they didn't really come through, so I unfortunately lost the challenge, but yeah, I really like it. it is a clay based so the black is not food coloring it is clay but yeah and then some foam beads got added into it and those just are in there now so this one does gloss over and I forgot to say that the uh, brownie one does gloss over as well but I forgot to show you here, I'll show you right now with this one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just waiting for it to gloss up. It takes just but a few seconds. It's already glossing over, if you can see that. But, yeah. Well, anyway, it glossed over, as you can see. But, yeah. <laughs> 
Um. into the Polish mountain. But, yeah. So, I think that's it for today's video. I will be uploading um, almost every day, hopefully, unless I get unless something happens. I'll try to upload every day. Um, hope you like, subscribe, uh, comment, hit the bell, and uh, share, recommend me to your friends if you would like. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you all next time.